Welcome back to Stencil Me 101. Today I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to know about raised stenciling. So first things first, I like to use just a simple plaster. Once you're ready to start applying the plaster to your stencil, you just want to make sure that your stencil is taped up firmly to your surface and then just go little by little working in small areas. Once you have your whole stencil covered, you're just gonna scrape away like that top layer of plaster. Once you remove your stencil and see your beautiful work, it is now time to paint after the full drying time, of course. And I found it easiest to use a brush so it can get in between all those little grooves. Then that is when I go in with the antiquing glaze. I just love the way that the outcome looks every single time. 